Okay, uh, this is day 22, part two. So I was talking about how um, the idea of the, the family, like the nuclear family, and not just, not just the family, but all the ways we separate, like the family, the tribe, the nation, um, the football team, you know? Um, this, is, this is what causes wars, and internal wars and external wars, and you know, and it's it's so tricky, right? Because it's like in the name of loyalty, and this is it's a very deep topic for me because um, I've always considered myself like a loyal person. I have very deep ties to my family, and uh, always been interested in like my ancestry and like ancient cultures, and and yet, and yet, um, I'm a very uh, kind of open boundaryless person by nature and and I see how this love for and respect and honor of for where you came from can be a gateway into a deeper love for yourself which in turn means a deeper love for everyone but it can also be a trap and um, I've, I've been exploring this a lot um, spending time with my parents as an adult and you know I I uh, mo have moved a lot in my lifetime and have moved away, far away from my family um, many times because it was so difficult. I mean, that wasn't the only reason, but one of the reasons was because it was difficult to know how to be intimate with my family and care for them without becoming, um, without losing my identity and um, becoming like some kind of martyr. Um, and so I've been learning, you know, to play with this, to do this dance. And and lately, so the conversations that have been coming up in my periphery um, is, I mean, and just all the time, I think I'm just noticing it more right now because I'm thinking about this, but just, um, you know, the ways that we are, are feel guilty and are put to shame when we take care of ourselves, right? It's like, parents feeling guilty if they um, are focusing on themselves because, you know, the kids should always come first. And um, partners feeling guilty because they made a commitment but they are attracted to someone else or, you know, there's some kind of dissatisfaction. And um, it's like, how, how do you honor your heart's desire without betraying your previous commitments. And um, and the question I think is, I mean, there's a lot of questions in this, but one of them is why, what are you committing to? I mean, and was it a conscious choice? Like for me, like uh, I'm not married and I don't have kids. So for me, it's it's my parents mostly. It's like, you know, noticing that I feel um, guilty because I'm, I feel happy. I'm feeling more and more satisfied. I'm doing what I want. And then how, when I'm confronted with my parents, uh, even, or even my sibling, I feel like that, oh, I, I, I shouldn't feel this good because then I'm, you know, I, I need to bring them with me. You know, like I, my mom was watching this health show uh, and like all fear-based, like, you know, this this is what could be happening to your colon and you better eat these foods. And she does this, like, she watches this all the time. And and my pattern in the past has been to like, you know, no mom, don't worry about that. Like that's, don't watch too much of that. You know, stress is actually uh, worse. Um, it's worse for your health. Like your thoughts are more powerful than, you know, foods. And, and that whole thing, like, you know, trying to teach and convince and and I thought it was for her own good but I realized um she's not taking it in um and when I do that I I'm kind of like wasting my energy <laughs> and then and then I feel resentful because I'm not focusing my energy on what I need to do the only thing I can do to really help her is wake up myself be healthy myself and then she'll either just learn by you know like oh Jane's actually happy and healthy. I think I want some of that. And then maybe she'll listen or just through pure resonance. Like I'm going more and more towards the idea of like vibration where 
we don't even need to speak. It's like, if I'm feeling amazing, anyone around me is going to feel amazing. And I don't need to convince them. I'm like, this is how you feel amazing, right? So, and that's just the best. It's like, it speaks for itself. So, um, and it's annoying. I mean, I'm sure it's annoying for her, like as much as like she's afraid and wants some advice that it's, it's like, she doesn't need her daughter to be like, this is what you should be doing. You know, no one likes that shit. And, and, um, and then I feel resentful afterwards sometimes because it's tiring to like give all the energy and then have the person not receive it. So then later I'll be resentful. So then now she's, 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 um, receiving like my resentment and it's like, a double dose of shittiness when my whole intention was to try to make her feel better. Okay, so I'm talking about like how you know bad thoughts are stressful or whatever, and then I'm 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 giving her that energy. So I realized this today, and just um just my the the pool I had like I was I felt compelled to say something, and I just noticed it and didn't say a thing, and just let her worry, you know, and. And it was not easy, but it was definitely clear to me, like, wow, how much energy I've been wasting on, um, just wasting. And, and that, you know, this is not just me. Like, it's like we, in trying to fulfill these, these roles, like for my mom, I could say it's it's out of love that I've been doing this, but that's not what love is. Love is not worrying about someone and not trusting them to make their own decisions. Like real love is um, seeing someone in their strength and and you know supporting them when you can. But if they're kind of on their own learning journey, like I don't know what her soul is really here to learn, you know? I mean, maybe she's supposed to get sick from colon cancer and then she's gonna have like this crazy fucking epiphany and lead the world. I mean, who knows? And who am I to try to like jump in there and and meddle? Um, and uh, in terms of like marriage and other things, it's, it's um, if I were to get married, I would not want the person to be with me because he promised me he would 15 years ago. You know, I'd want the person to be with me because he chose me every fucking day and every moment. And if at any moment he didn't want to choose me, then I'd be cool, you know? And that's scary. That's really, really scary. But I'm realizing that, that that's what I want because, um, yeah, I mean, like, I used to worry about, like, oh, like, it's going to get old, someone will get tired of me, or I'll get tired of him, or, you know, and then parenting, like, gosh, like, uh, it's just such a crazy commitment, you know? Um, but it's almost like, for me, the fear of, like, having to commit, and, like, it's like a death sentence. Like, that takes away my passion and my energy to be fully present, whereas if I didn't have some rule saying like this is what you must do to be a good parent or a good partner then I feel like I would show up and probably be able to be with someone fully for a long time I mean because it's not like um because I love going deep with people you know and and I do naturally want to care for people so um I think it's just about and I think everyone is like this. Everyone is like this. And um, I think the, the time of being... The only times we cannot trust our feelings and our instincts is when they've become distorted because of things like shame or emotions that are repressed because we don't feel safe to express them. And that happens because of these social constructs. So it's like this um, cycle. It's a really crazy cycle. And um, so um, I'm just observing it and doing my part to break my own cycles. Um, and, uh, oh yeah. And so in this, so the way I saw this, this, this painting of like the end of the family, what I, what I saw it is it's the end of the idea of, you know, who I care about and 
who I'm attached to and who my responsibilities are for is this unit. It's like, no, no, no. Just be responsible for yourself and everything else will take care of itself. Because if you're responsible for yourself, if I, if I really wake up to who I am, then I will be doing the best not only for my family, but for the universal family. And that's the point. Waking up to who I am means that I'm waking up to the fact that I'm one with everything. And I'm not letting this like tribal mentality um, limit me and hold me back from fully waking up because that's what it does. These, this sense of obligation, it actually holds you back from being able to be fully yourself, which would actually heal the entire family. So, and then the other thing I noticed, I, I think I, I mentioned, like I did this art piece the other day that I was kind of happy about. It It has, um, uh, it was just a collage with the, like, it was a mandala on top. And I liked the collage part. It was, um, it happened to be Holy Week and I didn't know that, but I mean, I ended up picking magazine pictures at random um, and because of the colors I liked and when I looked at it more closely, it was uh, an old National Geographic magazine documenting Holy Week in India with all the colors. And um, this was last week, so it was Holy Week. So it was neat. And then um, some other cool um, like serendipity things happened. Like there was a picture of an orange elephant and when I found some scraps of words that actually said orange elephants. What are the chances of that? Um, but then I put this mandala on top and I didn't like the mandala and I was really annoyed because I liked the collage and I was fucking frustrated. Like it sucks, you know, when things, the process doesn't go the way you want, like life. And then, so I kept working on it today just to finish it and be done. And I realized something and it was this, like, I don't hate it now. I don't love it, but I realized, um, I'm not into structure. This is why I resist it. It's like, I, I think mandalas are beautiful. I think people who can do really specific technical work, I admire it. But that's not my style. That's not what I'm into. And so when I force myself to do it, I don't like it. And I need some form, like, you know, the collage itself. It's like, I'm I'm arranging it. You know, there's some form. But, but when it comes to like, yeah, coloring in lines and shit like that, it's not what I'm built for. And that was kind of freeing to just notice that. Like, of course, something that's probably not gonna turn out to my liking if it's if the method is not suited to me. And that's another thing of like accepting myself. Like, I don't need to um, be great at everything and expect it to turn out well. And also the fact that like the, the ends don't justify the means. Like, if I'm not enjoying myself on the way uh, or something is not aligned with me, um, then I don't need to be doing it just to like reach this goal because it won't work out. It won't work out anyway. Um, and do, 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 the mandala, there was something else. That's good enough. That's good enough. Okay. Bye.